Okay, this video we're going to talk about Zoom recording and if you're going to be using Zoom at home to record videos to send out to um, students or, or whatever, you'll have to change the location where it's going to save the video file. So let's say I want to record a video using Zoom, so I go ahead and open it. Um, you have to create an account. So um, if you if you are not at this screen, um, you'll have to create an account. And I just linked it to um, my school address. Um, so when you're at this screen, before you do anything, go into the settings here, and then go into recording. So it's going to default to a location out on the network share. Um, if you're at home, your computer won't have access to the network share, so we'll have to change that. So let's go ahead and create a new folder on the desktop. I'm just going to call it Zoom Recordings. And then I'm going to click on Change and then scroll all the way down. And then my new folder's here. So it's going to record to my desktop into the Zoom Recordings folder. And so if I do a new meeting, uh, join with computer audio. I don't have a camera on this computer, so you, you, you won't see anything in this meeting. But I want to go down and hit record. And that's going to record if I had a a camera on this computer, then it would record whatever the camera is showing. We'll let it record for a little bit here. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop. And then end meeting. And it's going to convert the recording. And then if I go down to my folder, it created a folder with the timestamp of the recording. And then if I go in here, um, the Zoom file MP4 is the one that you will share. And that's the video file. And it has audio too. If you want to do audio only, there's a there's an audio file here. So anyway, um, so you'll have to change the recording location to be able to use Zoom recording at home if you're on campus and logged into the school network, then, um, then you won't need to change that.